Callie had been feeling extremely uneasy since the mysterious phone call. The man had referred to him as Calico, a nickname Henrik had used when they were kids. Was this someone messing with him? Was it actually Henrik? And if so, what was his angle? Just as he was settling down for the night, his phone rang again. This time, it was Krista Olsen, his co-conspirator and journalist. I've been pouring through that treasure trove of information you share with me, especially relating to Henrik's undercover work with Interpol. I have a lot of contacts there and no one had ever heard of him. I guess that's not entirely surprising since it was undercover, but I probed some very high level people off the record about this alleged task force and none of them seem to have any knowledge of it. Callie, I think something really strange is happening. How much do you truly trust Henrik and the people that provided this information about him? As always, if you have been enjoying the series up to this point, do be sure to smash the like button. That would be most fantastic as we come towards the end of the season. Now, today, obviously, we've got the essence of Europa League, sorry, Europa Conference League, sort of smattered all over us as we remarkably pulled off a 3-0 victory in Spain against Valencia, which puts us in a very strong position coming into this match, where really, other than an absolutely embarrassing, ignominious defeat, we should be finding ourselves in the Conference League group stages for the second consecutive season, which is good. Um, But given that that's really sort of, seems like a bit of a foregone conclusion at this point, I think even with a slightly rotated side, we should still be able to not lose 3-0 at home. I realise I'm tempting fate here by saying that. So we are going to forego that and do this one sort of off camera and come back for nourishing because the league, I think, is really our big tomato right now uh, because we are only top on goal difference with that game in hand and those league matches are utterly terrifying me at the moment because I feel like we're right there and it's right in our hands to win it this year and we cannot let it slip. We're still missing a load of players, which is a big problem for us. I think well, if we can just get through these spell of games without these Van Noj and Varga while still remaining top of the league, I think once Noji comes back in, hopefully that'll be enough to see us home. But we will have to see. Let's cue the music and get cracking. Sotomayor ball in. Caught by... Not caught by Davidson. Oh, good lord. Well, Paletti scores there. Uh, that is definitely on Davidson. Just completely on him. He should just caught that. Fresh off the bench here. Oh, lord. Please don't do this now, lads. Lopez. Fires it through the middle. Pineos is in. Are you joking? We've been the better side the entire game. And that's two just random errors out of nowhere. And this could get a bit tetchy now. One minute left here. We just have to hang on. I can't believe we're even finding ourselves in this position in this game. We've been the better side here too. Young Dean, Martin. Oh my God. I swear to God, if they score all three shots on target to, to take this extra time, I, oh, I can't even. Fires it around the side. It's Juan Martin. And that is the goal. It's a Rebru one, <laughs> Valencia three. Within 30 seconds of the start of extra time, we take the lead again and it's Juan Martin. Thank Christ for that. Holy God. God on a bike. I cannot believe that we... Firstly, I actually can't believe we lost the game 3-1 on the night, uh, despite having 12 shots on target. Uh, we gave up their first three shots on target, as far as I can tell. Um, they had a little shot just after that that was on target, basically, in normal time as well. Just absolutely maddening behavior to have that happen in the way that it did. But it, I just... Thank Christ for Juan Martin. The irony thing being, of course, I brought on some of the first teamers, basically, after the first goal. Because I went, oh, well, we probably should just tie this down at this point. And that didn't make any effect. It was incredible some of the mistakes I was seeing out of them. It's like they didn't want to play in the conference league group stages. I don't know how the defenders have got that rating about. I honestly have no idea how that's possible when you've conceded three absolutely horrendous goals. Davison had a shocker in places today. But we do oh, scrape through this one. It, it, embarrassingly scrape through, but we do get through. Mother of God. Don't you ever scare me like that again. Okay, so we've actually been seeded second. I guess getting to the final does sort of buy you a lot of leeway on things like that. So this should be hopefully a relatively solid group for us, I would expect. However, of course, we're a top seed in there, and that does mean that we are going to get someone quite difficult in there, I suspect. I think as long as we avoid someone like the PSV, Lille, Braga type of teams and get someone on this side, I think we should be in a good spot, honestly. What do we get? Antwerp, Maribor, and RZ. That's really, really difficult. By conference league standards, that's quite a tough group. There's no, like, absolute whipper. In fact, it might even be us. Like, Antwerp are a solid Belgian side. Maribor are no mugs. RZ are no mugs. Strong league. That's going to be a really quite interesting group, actually. But now we find ourselves back in the league. Uh, a bit of a take break from the horror of whatever that was in the last game. I'm just hoping that that's something we can get out of our system earlier. Because that was madness. We really do need to uh, get that out of the way. Hopefully that's, you know. I think Davison did get unfairly punished for some of the other stuff in that game, as they often do. But to be fair, he didn't really save anything in the match. The only save he made at the first, in the actual 90 minutes, was uh, a, basically like a 0.02 XG chance in 
stoppage time after their goal. So, yeah, not ideal. Hopefully he can get back on it, though. He has been very, very solid, and I can't really criticize him too much, but that was still obviously bad for their first goal, especially. So, away at Nurshipping today. They're low in the league, which is also quite important for us. Hammerby, of course, away at Sundsvall, so not exactly a difficult one for them either. EFK hosts Skuvda. You'd expect that all of us really should be winning today and that makes me worry that we're not gonna <laughs> honestly it really does particularly with who the hell's gonna play in this team today especially as, i mean look at the state of this didn't get a chance to really rest anyone against valencia that's the problem um amri to start mm, how about no but we don't really have much actually we do kind of have a choice we've got international break straight after this so i think we've got no choice but to bring him in but castilla is not starting i mean who the hell starts up front for us today <laughs> this is insane we don't have lindstrom he's injured we don't have varga we don't have Noj. Cissé is knackered from midweek, but he may well have to start. I can't start Castilla. Yeah, that's what we're going to have to go with. Uh, Cissé and an injured Martin, or a, a dead Martin. Amion and Kouassi in the middle with Young D behind. Dudao and the Kuriaku. Makaili, sorry, Makalele, Usic and Gay. I mean, Ibrahim Gay playing as a, a wide centre-back is just far from what I would have wanted right here. My main hope is just that other teams are going to be... Oh, they've actually not got a goalkeeper. No, oh, they've only got one benchman. Other teams are going to be affected by the squad issues, but hopefully we are too. Hammerby, EFK, those sorts of sides. Hopefully they'll have the same problems that we do, and they'll have tiredness issues as well. But we can, we'll can, we just have to wait and see, really. I'm expecting a poor performance here. But I'll be honest with you, I'm not overly confident that that's what we're going to see out of them tonight, particularly not after coming off of a defeat like that, even though we did get through. You know how much a defeat can hurt the morale of the players, especially that would have been two defeats in a row as well in all comps. Svensson delivers a low one, and... Great, a genuinely excellent stop there from Davison. If we win this game, it would be a miracle. The biggest miracle of the season, honestly. Demir, slipping it through. We've actually won it back there in a good position, but we've got to try and get something going forward here, which we've done nothing of so far. Makalele, Amian could turn on the ball. Finally, Martin to Cisse. Look at the run from Dudao. He's at least showing a bit of energy to get forward. One of the few players that are a bit fresh. Cisse, Martin, and it's Kouassi! It's gone through. Incredibly, it's Nurshipping nil, Rebru 1, and it's Seiku Kouassi. They may be on barely able to stand up, but we do incredibly lead here. Come on! For me, he's got player of the season written all over him, just for those performances alone. As Cissé bursts through, he's gone for goal! That is unbelievable. It's 2-0, and Babacar Cissé has just pulled out an absolute worldie. I can't believe this. That's We're doing the opposite of the last game. It's two shots, two goals for us. Come on, let's get to half time at 2-0 and we might be able to wangle something in the second half with some of the bench options, potentially. Martin, round the surface. Well, he's got it back again. He can actually go for goal here. Wow, Martin dribbles it low. Good save. I mean, you can see they've definitely outshot us. Admittedly, statistically, we've had a much better quality of chance than they have and it's been a kind of an even game, but there's no way I can justify us being in the position we're in. What I would say, though, in good news, Hammerby are two goals down. EFK obviously winning their game, but I still feel like Hammerby are our main competitor. Competitor. I just don't trust the FK to be that good for the rest of the season when they have no right to be. So taking a three-point advantage over Hammerby at this point with the game in hand still would be a very, very strong moment for us, I would say, uh, and keeps the gap at seven to Jules Gordon too. So this is a good result for us, but we do need to see this out, and that's the problem. 23 minutes to get through. Still just kind of hanging on at times here at the moment. Great save from Davison. Less than a minute to go, and I think we are actually going to do it. Hammerby have got one back, though, in their game, so it could still change there if they were to grab another one, and they have grabbed another one. Felipe Zuniga, of course. Oh, God. That's a good ball over the top, actually. Demir, go on. No click. Got to keep the clean sheet here, Robert. And he does. <laughs> what a stop. That was, I mean, admittedly straight at him, but he was well positioned for that. And I think he is going to keep a clean sheet today. And genuinely, I think has put in an excellent performance here, which has in ways actually won us a lot of points in this match. So I guess he's made up for his performance against Valencia just in his performance today. And the players have done the job. And hopefully now we can just see this little phase out and get ourselves something going. That is a massive win. Norshipping nil, Rebru two. You can see that we did not deserve that at all. Uh, arguably, they should have won this game, honestly. But those two moments with Kwasi and Cissé in the first half have been enough to give us the result. And Davis and again made some good stops in this game and really did hang on in there for us a fair play you've redeemed yourself if you just said to me before the valencia game you're going to lose this one horribly but you will still qualify technically and then you get a result like this a bit of luck the next time around i would have taken this one we absolutely needed that hammerby unfortunately didn't lose in the end only got the draw but it's still a two-point gap now to us and them and of course that means now we have a five-point gap potentially available to us efk keep plumbing on along there as well but we're in a good position now we've got cup game which doesn't matter we've got international break to rest the legs a little bit hopefully get Varga and Noj back within the next month and hopefully see out the rest of this season and see if we can go and win this bloody league straightforwardness in the cup Jaferovic got a lovely goal we got a penalty and then Castilla uh, having returned from his load spell made it 3-0 before half time we just kind of chilled after that Davison didn't really have anything to do in this game but he did keep another clean sheet so I suppose he'll take that one add it to his stats and he did save the one chance that they had but I mean look how far out it was not much to be expected for that. Now we do have a nice bit of international break. We're technically already on one. Sierra. There we go. The pressure and the speed in the team is way better at the moment. Sierra pings it in. It's goal. What a... Str Hang on. Who's that come off? 
Was that an own goal? It is. I need a closer look at this. I don't know how he's done this. Does he try to clear it against someone? Nope, he's just headed it full on into his own. <laughs> GG, buddy. God, it's good to have Naji back. Vaca goes for goal. Oh, what an effort that is. Hugo Vaca, 16 minutes gone. We're two goals to the good. Having Nosh back in this lineup just feels like a breath of fresh air. He's stretching people. He's doing everything. Fires one for Sierra. He could skin this left back. Oh, he's done him. Just instantly like that. Ball across. Martin, and it's three. <laughs> wow. What an opening 10 minutes or opening 20 minutes of this match. We've been perfect here. That little rest. Players back in shape. Oh, it's good to be alive. Mensa pops it through. Asifa's in. It's a it's a good goal. It's 3-1. Elspore got back in it here. Ah, Asifa scores at both ends. Don't want to suddenly let this game get a bit out of hand here. We've started very, very well, and long may it continue. Uh, but at the moment, Elsborg firing people forward. Mensa, edge of the box for Jorgensen, and it's... What is this half? That you've... Out of nowhere, they've suddenly got two goals back. Come on, lads, not again. Some tight work on the edge of the box here. Oh, he slips it through for Nudge. It's in. It's just in. 4-2 to a Rebru. Isvan Nodge scores on his return to the team. He's about to be substituted. He's done 70 minutes here, so big up for him. Didn't get injured. Love to see it. And a goal. Uh, hang on. We're getting a replay of a goal, but it still says 4-2, and I don't know what's happened. That face when you get a replay of a goal before you see the goal scored. Bravo, FM. Okay, so it's 5-2 to us now. Uh, yeah, we just saw the replay for this goal prior to the goal actually being scored in the match engine. So there's Ndai. Makes it 5-2 to a whatever. What is going on, FM? You're drunk. <laughs> now we get another replay of <laughs> Well, there we go. Uh, no idea how we scored five goals in that game. Uh, it was a weird one. You could see just how strong we started this game. And then it was just like, boom, boom. And then they can fly back in. Luckily, we got a couple of goals in the second half to alleviate the uh, deficit a little bit there. Bizarre game, honestly. Um, Davison didn't do fantastically, but it, it's tough to say in games like that. Strike Force, though, looked really good. Nice to see Nodge score. Nice to see him back into the team. Got him off without him being injured as well. Get him that match fitness back. Just nice to see him scoring a goal. We did just look better, though. But it was a day that could have been a lot better for us. Uh, a late goal from Hammerby saw them turn things around against Norshipping, and it was a similar situation where Mabasso getting a late goal for EFK prevents them from also dropping points. Uh, we could have had a really strong chance to start gapping them a little bit today. Uh, obviously, we do still have a gap with that game in hand available, but it's still incredibly, incredibly tight, and Jules Gordon, of course, win again there, too. And we, our next league game is against Vesteros. Trying to find half a space for a cross, and he's done so! And it's, a, well, Usage has missed that header entirely, and Chris Christian Janssen gives RZ the lead here in Sweden, and I think that's on Samir Usage. He's just missed the header. Chance for him to show off a bit of quality, though. Slips it around the side for himself, and he's done so. Igor Varga's 11th goal of the season. He's had a troubled time for us. I can't remember the last time he actually scored a goal, but it is nice to see him level up things for us in Europe. Oh, now kiriaku has been red carded after 40 minutes. We were just starting to get a foothold in this game and creating stuff, but nope. A <laughs> better idea, I suppose. On the side, Abu Kari again. Pulls it back. Oh, God, it's going to be a penalty. I mean, the ball's literally in the net. <laughs> So can't they just award a goal here? The ball has literally gone into the net. We're going to concede a penalty anyway. But if Davidson saves this, <laughs> it's obviously a penalty. We could get away, literally get away with murder here. If Davidson can save this penalty from Zamboni. Oh, Zamboni, the Iceman, slots it in the bottom corner. Cool head from him. It's, uh, yeah. And I think we're incredibly unlucky to lose the game, even with the 10-men situation, because the penalty... Oh, I say it was a good pen. Good pen, and it was definitely a pen. But damn it, man. Uh, we just can't seem to get these results. So we got our youth intake. Uh, it's uh, particularly poor. It's a shame. There was actually uh, three A's in the preview. Why am I listening to previews? We know they're absolute bollocks. So, I mean, I don't know what to show you, honestly. Other than we've got two guys called Gustafsson. Maybe they're related. They're not. Oh, so we'd have a pair of twins or something. That'd be sick. The best of the bunch is Ivan Sentamo, who actually, you know what? Attribute-wise, he's fine. Unambitious personality, low-ish determination, not a lot of physical quality on him. Um, uh, he's actually okay, to be fair. Mendenik, clear the way. Careful. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, for goodness sake. I don't know anymore, mate. We've battered them through this entire game, but one little chance like that, I mean, there's nothing to keep us doing about that. It's insanity. I can't believe we're not winning this game. We have absolutely battered Vesteros through the entire match. And Oh, Nodge is in. Right, good first touch. Takes it through, and it is a goal. It's one all here. Vesteros won, Rebru won. Finally, we find an equaliser, which should, in fact, be the winner, but it's not going to be. But at least Nodge has scored again, I suppose. Yeah, it's fine. We only had 11 shots on target. We only had 21 shots in this game. We only created enormous amounts of opportunities yet again. Uh, 
Vestros won Erebru won, and unfortunately, I don't think it really helps us much elsewhere because I'm fairly certain Hammerby scored a late winner. 91st minute, Hammerby score, and now pull themselves back to level points with us again. Uh, EFK, at the very least, did drop points in their game with a red card, so they do still remain one point behind us now, but, I mean, also, Jorgord are not out of this yet. They're only five points behind now. They're closing the gap. After the poor finish, well, poor result against Vesteros, this is a must-win match for us now because next up's not going to get any easier for us, and oh, Lord, we're Casso's in. It's a great finishing. It just continues to get worse and worse for us, doesn't it? No matter what we bloody do. <laughs> We've now got to score twice. This is our game in hand, by the way. And we do at least get one back, and it's Juan Martin at the back post. Sirius won, Rebru won. That's something for us to build on in the second half. Martin is knackered. Nosh is having a terrible game, unfortunately. Oh, perfect timing. Just what we needed. A free kick on the edge of the area. So a guaranteed goal for EK Sirius. And there it is. Fantastic. Perfect. Lovely. Uh... Same old shit, really. <laughs> it's the same old stuff. Same old, same old, really. Um, I, I can see us bottling our only chance, the, the last chance we're going to have to win a title before our eyes because it's just the same old crap. It just really is. Miss every chance that comes in front of you. Concede chances. Not out of nothing, of course. Like It's just those annoying free kicks. When you see it, you just know it's a goal. It's always a goal. I think I've seen one of them missed in the last like six months of playing FM. And that was ironically in this save for us a couple of games ago. Uh, a couple of episodes ago. That, of course, was our game in hand. So now we are back to square one, really. Uh, we are still top of the league, incredibly, with five matches to go. But this was not the start, we not the run we needed. The fact that we've come into these two games against Vesteros and EK Sirius uh, were massively better than Vesteros and should have won, somehow drew it. Uh, we were slightly better than Sirius and probably should have won, but we'd lost it. You can't do that. And it's only going to get worse, I suspect. But we've got to get our head in the game and get things back on the positive stroke. Because remember, the final icon today is at home, I think, against Hammerby, which could be enormous for us. Unless we go on some mad run here, we have to try to not lose to Jure Gordon. We have to beat Hammerby and beat Malma. Those two games are key. We should be winning against... If we... I'm looking at the ifs here. If we don't lose to Jor Gordon and we are able to beat Malma and Hammer because they're home games and there's a gap in between there as well, which is really nice. I think that gives us a chance going into the final two because I think we should win away at the bottom club Skufta. That should be a win. And then it comes down to BK Hecken on the final day and seeing where we are, relying to everybody else. But we have to at least be in with a shout. And I think what happens in the next three is absolutely vital. Oh, for God's sake. <sighs> now Nodge is coming off. With a broken, not broken leg, with a gashed leg. Butterstein. Ball away, all the way through for Badawi. Oh, for God's sake. We dominate the first. Uh, you, you know the drill. We dominate the first 40 minutes, create tons of chances, get an injury, and now they've scored. Oh, now we're going down to 10 men. Are you actually shitting me? I cannot believe I'm eating ice to calm my rage. He's literally barely touched him and he's fallen over in front of him, and that's a red card. Sierra's on a 6.1, somehow. Um, yeah, this is not happening for us today. <laughs> Oh, help me, friends. Two injuries and a red card today as well, which is fantastic. And now a penalty! I'm actually done. I'm done. I'm actually done. <laughs> oh, just, 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 just take me out to sea and push me over the side. It's 2-0 to your goal. <laughs> Game's just like, nah, mate, you're not having any fun today, bruv. No, not allowed. Martin. Right, slip it through for Cissé. There's the run. Cissé to get us a chance back into this match. He's... He's... He has actually scored a goal. Incredibly, it's Jor Gordon 1, Rebru 2. The 10 men bepenaltied, injury-ridden Rebru do get away back into this game, incredibly, with the substitute. But friends, I think I'm slowly losing my mind at the moment. In fact, I say slowly. It's unraveling very fast. Like if you dropped a ball of yarn down the stairs. That's my mental state right now. Lozano knocks it down for Serthra. We'll probably give away another penalty in a minute, I suspect. Serthra, big tackle on him. Could have been... Very dangerous there from Tudor Georges. I have to be very careful. So you can kind of see where the game went off the rails a little bit here in that we dominated the opening stages of this game. Round about here was when we had to take off... I uh, know it seems early, but it was. That's when we had to take off Nodge with his gashed leg. That sort of limited our striking options. Then they scored a goal out of nothing. And then we got a, two more injuries, a red card, conceded a penalty. And well, at that point, yeah... I don't really know what was expected to happen at that point. CC did get us a goal back, in fairness. Obviously, we deserve to lose in the end, but oh, geez, it just feels like nothing is right. Nothing can go right for us at the moment. And that's now three away games that I was hoping to get some points from, and we've got one. That, of course, sees us now move somehow three points off the top of the league. Hammerby managed to win their match. Um, EFK managed to win their match. They got a red card, too. Still won the game, of course. Um, so they're now above us as well. 
And honestly, we've got to worry about even getting top three at this point. That's how absolutely shocking this has gone. Oh, Varga's got it. Igor Varga has... Oh, my Lord. What a stylish finish from Igor Varga. You should see this man's statistics this season. I, he really has underperformed so badly in the league. But in Europe, he's at least been solid. He's done a good job there. Nodge, around the side for Varga. Could he make it too? Igor Varga drills it home. And it's an assist for Istvan Nodge. Lovely finish from Varga again. He's done one thing for us, and that's be good in Europe. And it's nice to see Nodge grab an assist. 2-0. Good stuff. Put it back again in a good position. Just dinks it up. Nodge is there. Gets the header in on top. What a finish. Istvan Nodge. Lovely header from him. Not what you'd expect to see at all from him. More of a Juan Martin type of goal, but it's 3-0 here in Belgium. This is more like it. Bit of confidence, perhaps. That was actually genuinely very good from us there. Two for Varga, one for Nodge. Nodge also assisted one of the Varga goals. Just a really good performance from the strikers, especially. Defenders did a solid job of it today. Didn't really allow our opponents much at all. I mean, Antwerp did win their first game quite comfortably away from home. So for us to come here and win 3-0, it reminds us more of us in Europe last season. Although we did do okay in our first European game. The red card didn't help us there. So that's good. I think it actually does amazingly propel us to being top of the group just out of nowhere like that. Because with the way things have gone over the last three matches, um, it's either should have won the game and didn't, should have got something and didn't, or just catastrophic calamities that befell us and ruined what could have been a very good performance. I was so happy with our first sort of half an hour against Jules Gordon. We were brilliant in that game. And then the injury, and then it all just kind of went to shit from there. So it's a shame. My language has been bad today. I apologize. It's been one of those days. I'm just filled with rage. Now, do I think we can still pull this back? Absolutely. Uh, but the first step in that is to win today. If we beat Hammerby today, we go back above them. So that's a good start. Of course, that does rely on, of course, EFK Jorteborg actually not not winning a match at some point this season. So that's going to be tough. I have a horrible feeling that we're going to end up just randomly coming fourth this year again and being like, what the hell happened? But there you go. Now, at least we've got some players rested and fully fresh to go today. This is absolutely make or break. And I'm hoping that the lads, after that midweek win, we can dig deep and show a bit of quality. The morale at least has improved, but oh my lord, look at this team, man. I'm going to try and sort this out a little bit. Ami on there? Do I want that? Davison's had a re he had a poor stretch of games. He's pulled it back a little bit lately, but it's it's unfortunate. He still had a better. He's still performing better than his compa his friendo Maffler here. But my god, I think that might have to be the, the lineup really. Although actually, now that we've got that spot on the bench there for Amion, I might point Varga there instead because that will allow us to bring Varga on if Nosh has a poor game. Just having that ability to do that could really help us out. This is massive. Home game, we've had a terrible record in the league as of late, and we need to pull that one around. This needs to be one of these games where we actually turn up. Like, we've turned up so much in games and had it fail to materialise into to wins at times this season. And today, we need to turn up and have it materialise, given, or rather, a lot more tame things given us pens this season. Gay into the box. Draws it through. It's blocked. Martin, saved by the goalkeeper. Well, at least we're putting the pressure on the opening 10 minutes, but again, we failed to take the chance. It's a bit of a tight angle for him. Does find one in, actually. Martin's header. Oh, my God. Just, clo just close. Just close. Well, the tightness in this game has sort of continued. Um, they have had a shot at some point. We just haven't actually seen it. Uh, we've had a little few smatterings here and there. We're definitely the side on top in this one, which is at least something. We're showing a bit of that. Right, Martin, here we go. Undai. It's a great pass. Notch is in. He's through. Is he onside? He's not onside, is he? I think this is going to get disallowed. No, no, it's 1-0. It's a Rebri. I was expecting the camera to swing back around. I thought it was a touch offside. A Rebri 1, Hammerby 0. But what a start. Great first half. We've turned up. Kuasi. Ben's 1 hits the hits the bar with it. Martin tries to turn it back inside, but we've been fantastic in this game. This is the kind of first half we needed. As things stand, we'd all be tied on 57 points, but we would be top of the league because of the goal difference difference. This win would mean the world. Kuasi. Martin brings it down, actually. Finds Makalele and it's tipped over the crossbar. We've been pepped bring them the whole half. Dudao, can he drill this across? No. Plenty of space for it to pull back for Martin. What a block from the defender. Clear away again. Knock down and we just keep possession once more. Martin. Oh, it's a ball throw. Kouassi's broken in. Can Kouassi make it too? He does. Seku Kouassi. Rebru 2. Hammerby nil. If we win the title, I genuinely feel like Kouassi is player of the season. He's got so many goals this year. 2-0. It doesn't come much better than that. Rebru 2, Hammerby 0, Noj and Kawasi. 15 shots in the first half. 7 on target. 1.65. We've had games with less than that lately. And Hammerby have had one shot and it was basically nothing. Duris has done nothing for them. This is exactly what we needed. We just need a second half that's even half as good as this, and we will get an important win. And with what's going on elsewhere, this could be huge, especially if EFK don't win their game against Sirius. It's still nil-nil, as far as I remember. Let's just quickly have a little look here. Yeah, nil-nil there. As things stand, it would be 57 points for everyone in the top three, and Jorgordon Gordon would only be two points off the top of the league. Oh, well, an injury was not what I was hoping for here, especially as our bench is almost devoid of defensive options, and I really should have at least had someone on the bench. This is where things start to go wrong, isn't it, as we have to put Gay in at wing-back. Sorry, a wide centre-back and then Cissé in as a right wing-back. I just didn't want Cissé having to do any, like, centre-back defending. At least he'll be good going forward, is my hope. 
driving forward. What a pass for Kuasi! Oh, it should have been better than that from Kuasi, but great ball from Cisse. Kuasi again. Young Dean pops it over the top for Nodge. Could he kill the game off? Nodge drills it at the keeper and it's saved again. Kuasi's got Dudao out wide, finds Martin. Slips it through. Nodge is in again. Just first time finish, maybe? No? Oh, he's gone for it from an insanely tight angle. Oh, lovely. Dudao just makes a completely disguised run. He's got to square this this time. Nodge's header saved by the goalkeeper again. We've actually done pretty well considering. Shuffling things around the way we've had to here to bring someone like Cisse in as a wing back. And he's done an okay job. Kwasi again. Martin. Into the channel for Dudao again. He's just been getting into so many good positions. Does not. What a save! The goalkeeper was diving before he'd even got the ball. That was incredible anticipation. Firing forward. Drips it. Oh, lovely round the side. Can he get it back again? Back post. Dudao's in there. Header. Saved by Zanardo. Am oh, look at the space for Amri here. Varga. They're just not even tracking runners anymore. Amri's in. Can he make it? No. Great save again. Blocked again and out for a corner. And that's what we need to do at this point. It's still played out here. Fielders can get this in. Back post should be relatively straightforward for them to score out of nothing. The amount of chances we have that are just like that and they're always blocked or saved or missed or something. And we just seem to always concede them. It's a great header down from Juris in fairness. Gets it through the bodies. Keeper can't see. 2-1. We've got the ball. Stoppage time should have elapsed really. And there it is. A Rebru 2, Hammerby 1. I mean... We deserve the win. Just the 27 shots in this game. 11 on target. They get two shots on target. Score. Um, they're probably... Uh, just one of those things. You just can't seem to stop those random goals from going in. No matter how many chances we create in matches. But luckily, we did get the victory in the end. Should have been by much, much more than that. But we got the win. And really, at this point, I'm just happy to get the result. That's back-to-back -back wins now. And a win against our biggest rival, uh, arguably. It, although, honestly, it doesn't matter. Because it still feels like EFK are going to win every match from here on out. But we've at least given ourselves a chance with this result. We slip above... Um, how are we back up in the second spot again? We're two points off the top. The goal difference is still better, which is so damn important. We've also record... This is our record points tally. We are gaining on that. We've still got three matches to go. I mean, we can still finish on 66 points and not win the bloody league at this rate, which would be just really bad. Uh, so we do have to pick things up. We just have to hope that EFK drops some points at some point. You know, it's our last chance to win a title in this save. We need to get this done, but I just don't know if we're going to quite be able to do it. I could totally see us winning all three and still not winning the title. Oh, but it does not make for pretty reading today when you look at the sheer number of defeats and just bad results in there. So, if you've enjoyed this, and I hope you have, drop a like, that'll be spiffing. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, that'll be sick too. Stream on Twitch, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, and I'll see you guys soon. Hold your gun, Capybara, bye-bye.